Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill, and welcome to some more Victoria 2, but this is actually a new series. I know quite a lot of differences. First of all, no camera, because I'm not streaming this. If you'd like to see the camera and you prefer it in the series, please let me know in the comments. But most importantly, have you noticed the map's a little bit different? I am actually going to be playing the Napoleon Legacy mod. This is a slightly esoteric mod that asks the question, what would the world be like if Napoleon had won the Coalition Wars? Well, it's like all of them. And this is what the world is like. I'll be going over some of the precise history later, but the fact of the matter is, in a similar matter to Kaiserreich, the UK was kicked out of the British Union, or rather kicked out of the island, and the British Union, a Republican institution, took over with the UK forming in what was basically Canada. As you can see, the world is absolutely revolting, filled with border gore, and makes me want to cry. I am going to be playing as the uh, British Empire, only because the French Empire has very, very few interesting events. They are like the Britain in the base game. So we're going to be playing as the British Empire with the goal, as in Kaiserreich, to reclaim the British Isles and reclaim our glory at the top of the leaderboards. Let's jump into this and see what we can do. Make sure you do leave me a like and a comment if you want to see more stuff of this series, if you want to see more Victoria 2 on this channel, if you just generally like seeing this kind of stuff, please let me know. All right, let's turn the audio down. Wow, it's on maximum. That would explain that. Okay, so we're in a bit of a terrible situation as the British Empire. So we actually do have all of this, and this they are actually in our sphere. So that's like, it is something, right? But we can't, of course, use their economy or anything. We are desperately low on money, so we're going to just shunt all this down. Oh man, we are, we are wrecked. So in terms of politics, we are the Conservative Party, the constitutional monarchy. With, we currently have the Conservative Party of Canada giving us protectionism and interventionism. I'm fine with that for now, because we have moralism and pro-military. Uh, the Tories, <laughs> they're reactionary Tories, that makes sense. So they are unfortunately the best though because they have spicy, spicy jingoism. Oh baby, look at that jingoism. I love it. Uh, and they also have state capitalism, but I have no need to do that just yet. Uh, this does use quite a lot of basis of the HPM mod. So there isn't a huge amount of differences from the other game we were playing with France. We don't have a huge amount of decisions that are immensely difficult at the start. We do have the Webster Ashburton Treaty, which was the event of an undeclared Erstok War. The Treaty of 1842 between the UK and the US demolited with the final borders between Maine and New Brunswick, regulating the share use of the Great Lakes and reaffirmed the border and call for a mutual commitment towards the Atlantic slave trade. I would lose a core in Caribou. I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to. <laughs> the Canadian Confederation. The Canadian Confederation has self-rule. Our dominion is ours to govern as a new and emerging power, not only in North America, but the world. All pops lose form. Alright. Northern Quebec. Quebec gains all as a core. I don't know why I would do that, but whatever. Imperial secession. While our relations with the US have been strained since we inflicted grave damage in the War of 1812, one of the key issues of tension is our border with the US. As it remains ill-defined and uncertain, especially on the frontier areas, if we agree to establish the border as the 49th parallel, we will improve our standing in the eyes of the world, along with our relations with the US, they'll have to give up land, so no, I'm not going to do that. So as you can see, a lot of stuff will change. Yeah, the US gains like a lot to me. We do gain Grand Rapids, though. Okay, so no, we would actually gain Grand Rapids. Um, Maple current gain core from gain core. So if Cardstone and Grand Rapids. That's it. So Cardstone and Grand Rapids. Oh, but I would give Cardstone to them anyway, and Grand Rapids anyway. What? So basically, I lose a bunch of land for nothing. I'm just not gonna do. I'm just not gonna do that. Go away. Leave me alone. I don't want this. So, um, it's going to take a while to be able to grab on the island. I do believe we get uh, some claims later on um, in a few decades. So, we have to wait a little while. We do have New England. As a result of uh, the War of 1812, what happened is that basically Napoleon was able to beat the French, uh, the, <laughs> sorry, the Russian in the first invasion of Russia. And in doing so, he was able to consolidate forces and beat back the British and Wellington in the Peninsula War in 1809 through 1815, or 1814, uh, and was able to kick the British off and also conquer Portugal, splitting it into three states. 
Then they were able to continue the war until 1823. And as a part of that, it meant that Britain had nothing else to do but to continue to fight the War of 1812, because they weren't able to commit any forces to the Continental War. So they besieged and eradicated a large amount of trade of the Northeast, which was the primary economic center of the US, forcing an eventual split of New England from the rest of America. Now, I don't think that's, that, that would ever really happen, considering in 1812, or rather after that, 1817 or whatever, New England was America. Yes, we had the states, and yes, all this did exist, and they had expanded up to here, but the capital is in Philadelphia. New York and Boston are the cultural, economic, and logistical centers of the entire country. I doubt that would ever happen, but whatevs. And now the capital is in Richmond, Virginia. Okay. Not in D.C. Sure. Okay, whatever. But uh, we also have the Native Confederation. Uh, who are they allied with? They're actually allied with me, so they're actually a satellite of me. So I do actually own quite a lot of territories. It'd be really good if I could just add, add them to my sphere, but I can't. I believe there might be some events later on. Let's do... This is just weird. It's very strange. In our actual states, they're pretty terrible. Uh, we have Upper Canada, Lower Canada, um, the, the Maritimes. Maritimes got some lumber. Really not a lot. There's a little bit of coal over here, which is something. In terms of actual goods, though, we're garbage. We have some iron over here, which is something, but it's really not good. It's just, it's just bad. So we're going to put, uh, to start with, we're going to go, oh, also, this doesn't have HFM's changes, so we do have, oh no, farmers. Is this PDM mod then? What? Oh, that's weird. Bureaucrats, craftsmen, landowners, intellectuals. Well, we still have intellectuals, so. All right, let's encourage uh, bureaucrats. Why can't I encourage? Oh, are they already educated? Oh, these guys have tons of intellectuals. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're actually really good on that. So let's just go to bureaucrats then. Oh, we have 4% bureaucrats. Oh, my minister efficiency is crazy good. All oh, right, nice. Um, so let's cram these taxes up a little bit. And these tariffs. Wow, we make like no money. God damn. We make no money. Why do I have overseas penalty on my currency? On my troops. I have six troops in Australia. Oh! I have Australia! Oh! Okay. That's definitely something. Is, are these states? They're not states, no. It would require 32 colonial power. At least 1% of the population needs to be bureaucrats of accepted culture. And the culture is 40% Brit- Oh, that's easy! Oh, okay! That means I can use the economy of Australia. Right? I have not played this mod before, so I'm just kind of jumping into it. So, Imperial Ceylon is the largest uh, state, I guess. Oh, wow, wait. Victoria has, like, no people in it. What? There's, like, a couple thousand people. There's 2,000 people in Melbourne. What? Oh, my God. All right, Ceylon is the most populous state. It's right here. Anything good? It's tea, tea. Oh, it's all tea and fruit. <laughs> Come on. I think I can also annex the East India Company at some point. Weirdly enough, they're none of them. No culture of British, which is kind of annoying. All right, I don't really know what the hell I'm gonna do then. This is this is terrible. <laughs> this is just awful. I guess we could try and incur nine percent soldiers. What is with the population of these states, man? Holy crap! Let's go lower Canada. Let's get some soldiers. All right. Uh, Culture-wise, um, I mean, we have a lot of text already researched. I guess ideological thought. I think idealism for a couple of years. I might go romanticism because I do need to make sure I stay, um, stay a big boy. Also, I am vastly over my uh, limits. I imagine because of my fantastically large navy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, in Australia, can we... Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, cram that down, and we can try and get some of this. What I'll do is I will get rid of my clippers. I can find them. 
let's uh let's get rid of these clipper transports because they're clogging up my stuff. That that did not affect that. All right. Cool. Crisis. Okay, so system of crisis was the end of weird scenarios because the crisis of the freedom of Ireland in 1840. To counter that crisis, or non-colonial at least, are locked until someone researches revolution and counter-revolution. Yeah, we'll keep it locked. It's fine. So I don't really know what the what our plan is initially. Um, we're in a really bad state right now. I'm gonna put social spending down as well because I am. I have no goddamn money, man. The lines offer from Grand Columbia. No, thank you. What is this weird thing? Oh, also we have the Reino uh, Unido, which appears to be a joint country of Brazil and Portugal, which is insane. That's insane. Are these are these cores? I, I don't know if they're cores or not, but. They are! They're, co they're proper cores! Oh, damn! So it was actually the great power in this, then. France, Russia, Austria, the British Union, Ottomans, Prussia, British Empire, and New England. Okay. It's kind of annoying I have a vassal underneath me. I don't- and I don't really know anything about the... the organization of this. I don't know if there's any, of like, particular events that I can, uh... that I can do. If I look in the thing- I've been looking in the event files for the mod. But it is not the best. There's like British claims and stuff, which is mainly decisions. And there's like the Aussie chain. There's an Aussie civil war that can fire after 1867, which it that just that just sounds that just sounds really bad for me. Just no, just not good. It's it's not the best. Like the the files are not great for uh, like the Britons is the name of my one, which is just strange. Why would you call it the Britons? That's very weird. So we do get some British claims in Ireland in 1850. Um, and what do I need to have? 1850. Navi at war. I have to have state and government. Okay, so if I get state and government, it's 1850. I can get that. Set global flag, British claim in Ireland. Release vassal, Ireland. Leave Ireland. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Uh, Royal Treaty of Dublin, Treaty of Dublin, blah, 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 blah. 100k move, I don't know what the hell. But where's, is there anything else I can do? I think the best thing for me to do is just to play through and see what happens. This is kind of just a little test game. I'm just kind of pissing around a bit. I tried to alt tap in and then it's, it's not, it's not loaded in. There we go. Okay. You gonna load or you gonna, there we go. I don't really want to make any decisions that will not be good, because I don't want to lose caribou. What? I don't want to lose caribou. Why caribou? Empire- what? This is a war of 1842. I don't want to do this. No. This would give me small arms and regular clothes. And Northern Quebec, Quebec will gain all as a core. Shit. Quebec will gain all as a core. Alright. Don't have it. We have a lower Canada. Oh yeah. I don't want to do that. Let's test it. Let's just test it. Alright, Napoleon, Britain. This is gonna have the same kind of feel, I assure you. Yeah, I'm not really sure, like, what the hell this, this event is doing, you know, it's really weird. Because... It's pretty strange. I'm on the decisions for the for Britons, but, like, it doesn't really make any sense. So, Q... Q-U-E. No, so is... Britain's not the correct one? What? What is the name of my country, then? It's not a very well-designed mod, I'm not gonna lie. There's G-R-E, but that's not the name of my country. Oh, there, there is England, actually. But I would assume that was the British Union or something. Right? I, I would have assumed. The Canadian Confederation. All pops... Northern Quebec, Quebec will be in all as a core. 
No, oh, so this is wrong. Canadian Confederation. Can they... No. What is happening? I don't know. Like, I, I wish I could show you the screen like this, but it doesn't work so well with the BS. Like, it's just super, super messed up. It just doesn't work. No, there's no Canada here either. I, I, I have no idea what happens if I actually fire this event. Let's just do it. Nothing particularly interesting happens. Screw it. Who knows? Uh, online, um, access from Texas? Yeah, sure. So I do hope there's a way I can eventually try and take the uh, this nation here, because that would really expand my reach. The Native Confederation. At least I can buy goods from them. That is something. Wait, do I have factories? No, I have no factories. Why do I have craftsmen, then? Clerks and craftsmen in southern Ontario. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Imperial Minnesota grants statehood. Alright. Cool. Sure. Is that a state? It's a state that I don't even own, man. Come on. I can't create any protectorates or colons, colonies or anything. I don't want to do the Webster-Ashburton Treaty. Leave me alone. Oh, they changed the newspapers. The American slavery debate, Knife Porter goes to war, penal colony, Russian Empire expands, 12 gore, damsel brutally murdered. Okay. War between Polish, Lithuanian, Commonwealth, and Prussia. The Arc de Triomphe commission was unveiled in 30... Oh, wow. The Second Great Awakening. A wave of religious zeal. Oh, damn. So to go over some of the history of this, um, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth stood up and joined the French after because the French basically were the primary supporters of France, and they got a gigantic chunk of territory. Prussia was basically pushed back to its very beginnings. Uh, Austria did pretty well. Uh, Murat, the king of Italy, or rather the king of Naples, did quite well. Mm. A dried up old traveler's returned from the wilderness. When given a whiskey, he said to a horse of voice, Gold, I found gold, a mountain of gold. Change goods in Freetown to precious metal. It was sent life rating for 300% immigrant attraction and gold rush for two years. For immigrant attraction, that's pretty good. But hang on. Where's Freetown? Freetown. Oh! Pff, I don't care about that. Well, actually, no, that gives me a lot of cash. Whoa! Look at that cash. Turn those terrace down. Okay, it's not that much. But it is also going to increase my, uh... It's going to increase my population and all that good jazz. I attempt to justify war against Bundelkin by East India Company was detected. Great. East India Company's in my vassal, aren't they? No, they're just allied with me! What? Oh, God. I imagine things will get interesting once I get state and government. I imagine that's when I'll get to start doing stuff. Why is my military gone down? My, my allowed, what? What happened? Don't know anymore. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, we're making a lot of money though. So I think we can turn these tariffs down. As well as these taxes. Clepper house rearranged. Uh, reactionary and Tory, that's fine. Alliance offer from Texas. Now that is something I can get behind. Mexico is allied with America. That is something I cannot get behind. You know what? I like allying Texas. Let's do it. We do have a lot of vassals who can do me pretty well here, so... Let's get Romantic System so we can keep that prestige going, because we really do need to try and make sure we keep great power, or else I'll lose a lot of benefits. It's kind of annoying that the next most powerful one is New England, and it's like, why can't I have that? Rock me my cradle, give me some of that prestige. Give me New England, come on. Gold Rush and Broom! Okay. That's cool. Where's that? Oh, in Australia, nice. Trusts, rich starting income. Is that actually going to increase the, inc the population? It's actually decreasing it. God damn it. But we are getting a lot of people moving over to us, which is good. 
Palmerston Botanical Expedition, the flora of Palmerston is spectacularly unique and mostly unknown to science. In the vast spaces of their untried land, an untold audience affluence of brutal botanical riches awaits us to discover it. Send the expedition. Yes, I have money. Is there anything that's colonizable that I can actually colonize? I, there shouldn't be. But who knows with this mod, you know? There you are. British Union's doing nothing, France is doing nothing. Spain is actually a puppet of France. The natives are restless. Uh, let's have a prominent Ottawa cap. Ottawa? What? That's where we live. The sound from the machine shop is running anyone from everyone from the immediate vicinity of the shop getting much sleep. If something is upright, there's others who would have opinions on that. Like at militancy, or we could drop by the Chamber of Commerce and have a chat. No. Commerce must continue, you douche. Oh, crap. Call to arms from the East India Company. Who are you fighting? The Orissa. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. And I will accept all things. Population is not going up by an extremely large amount, but considering our small amount, um, I, I, I imagine we're getting immigration, right? I would assume. Can you see the intake of population in a state? Yeah, external immigration, nice. Native growth and external immigration, okay, cool. But that's only gonna go up as well, because we're in the new world. Really. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do right now, so uh, that'll be it for the first episode. We haven't really done a lot, but we're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna continue to build uh, like shipyards all over the place. It makes sense to kind of put them in, like, the expected places. I will also chuck uh, naval bases and, you know, railroads everywhere. Just to make sure we can do things. So Townsville. No, no, I'll put it in Normanton, because that's where... Cooktown, and that's the right place. Cooktown. We'll get railways and stuff. But I do hope you enjoyed the series, and I hope you will see me in the next episode as well. I was Aldra Hill, and I will continue to be. This has been some Victoria 2. Like I always say, please do leave me a like and a comment on this video. Let me know what you think of the series if you want to see more of it as well. Bye-bye.